Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, this is my tutorial video on how to make a CPU. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically break this down into probably five or six different parts on each one and give you it in order uh, the best that I can on how to explain on how to do this. Uh, if you watched my last video, it was, you know, the whole video on the CPU showed you how it worked, everything that it had to offer, and so what I did here was build a real small version of it, and uh, what I'm going to do is show this to you, explain it a little bit, and then I'm going to go back and, you know, commentate to before I actually built this, so this will be nothing here, and then you'll see how I build it block for block, but this is when it, you know, basically is uh, completed. And so the segment, se oh, I'm sorry, the seven segment display here, it's showing the answer one right now. And so I'll come over. I have it hooked up to these switches. And each adder, there's four different adders, which makes it four bit. And so the first adder has three input lines. And uh, the second one has these two input lines. The third one has these two input lines. And then the fourth one has these two. And how it works is, uh, the first one represents the number one, so the all three of these would be number one. The second one represents number two, so these two would be number two. And uh, the third one represents four, and then the fourth one represents eight. And then if I had more, it would be that one's eight, and then it would be 16, 32, 64. And so that's how it works. And so like, the, like I said, the display shows number one right now, so... I'm going to go down and I'll add, uh, let's say, 2 to it. Or no, that's 1, I'm sorry. Um, I'll add 2 to it. Go over and check the display. And there's 3. And now let me show you how it works. It is in binary, the answer for 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. So we'll follow it over into the decoders here. That's what these are. There's 15 of them. I don't have them all hooked up yet, so and uh, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to show you a few of them that was hooked up, and then I wanted to show you a few of them, you know, I want to hook them up as we go. That way you can get a perfect understanding of how it, how it was done. And like I said, I'm going to back this whole video up before all this was made and show it to you while I was making it and uh, basically explain it along the way. But... Uh, as you can see, there's 15 of them, and it starts out with zero. The first one is zero. It's not one. It, uh, it starts out with zero, so it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But as you can see, zero, one, two, three is the one that it, we're using right here. So the lines, the input lines come in, the two that are turned on, that's the answer three in binary, comes in, and what it does is it turns on the right decoder, and how it knows how to do that is as if you can if you see the torches the ones that are on the angle there those represent zero and the ones that are straight up and down those represent the ones so that like i said the answer in binary is zero zero one one so how that figures itself out it'll come in and it'll it won't turn on any of them until it finds the one that is has the two that are vertical like this, you know, the straight up and down in the right spot. So when them two lines come in, zero, zero, one, one, it'll go through as many as it has to go through until it finds the two that are in the right order. And these are the two right here. So it turns this on. And what it does is, as, as you can see, all the torches on the ends, those are the primary powers that come out of them. And as you can see, that's the one that's on. So it'll go through and I have them in order obviously but you can have them any way you want and it would find the right one and uh, come through turn it on and then you follow it over and this is the line of uh, code right here so it'll go from the answer to the decoder and then into the line of code and then into the display itself so if you can see here there's seven segments and these lines here on the ground there there's seven of them and those are the two that are turned on so that's the answer zero zero one one that's three so what happens is what you do is basically put the torches 
and how this works is the display when you turn an answer on all the segments will be on and what you're trying to accomplish is you want to turn the the segments off that you don't need so you're not actually turning them on what you're doing is turning them off so as you can see all of them are on except for the two that I don't need on and that's how the number three will come through so uh, if you come back over and then you'll look what I did was put these two torches that are hooked up to them two segments and you know there's the vertical transmission it'll go up and turn them off and so each one's different as you can see this is the number two so this segment here and this one here are the ones that need to be turned off for number two so then if you go to zero only one needs to be turned off the middle one but now one you need to turn a whole bunch of them off so there's torches on almost all of them so uh, what we'll do is we'll go back and uh, change the answer real quick and I'll just give you one more quick example before I back this video up and uh, show you from uh, you know block for block how this was built so let me turn that one off that's the number two so now the answer is going to be one and there it is on the display one and again zero zero one is one in binary so uh, the second decoder is going to be the one that's on and I'll take you down in there again and show you these are all zeros the torches are on an angle and so the one that's the vertical transmission the one that's up and the straight up and down is the end one here and like I said how it knows how to do that is when the answer comes through when it finds the right one that's set up in the you know the right way it'll come through turn it on come back over follow it and all the torches here that are lit up, those basically are inverted and they'll turn the segments off. So we'll go over and look and almost all of them are turned off except for the two that need to be on. And that's basically the answer. So I'm going to show you how all this is built. I'm going to give you probably four or five parts here how to do this and then I'll show you how to do the adders, then I'll show you the decoders, the lines of code, the structure on how to build the display, and then you know how to power it. And so, if you guys give me a minute here, I'm gonna back the video up to basically before all this was built and try to explain this to you block for block. So, give me one second, and I'll be right back. 